Session 39 of Unit 4 of Industrial Relations and Labor Legislation of 6th Semester BBA of Mangalore University. In this session, we shall study the meaning of indiscipline and the causes of indiscipline. Indiscipline means disorderliness, insubordination and not following the rules and regulations of an organization. The symptoms of indiscipline are change in the normal behavior, absentism, go slow work, increase in number and severity of grievances, persistent and continuous demand for overtime allowance, lack of concern for performance, etc. The parties responsible for indiscipline in Indian industries are trade unions and the management. Causes of indiscipline Non-cooperation results in indiscipline. Various factors like social, economic, cultural play a significant role in causing indiscipline. Henry Fayol observed that discipline is what the leaders make it. Many times indiscipline is due to managerial faults, Lapse, thoughtless works, deeds and poor management. The main causes of indiscipline are First is ineffective leadership. When the leadership is weak, flexible, incompetent and distrustful of subordinates is often an instrument which makes for the creation of indiscipline among the employees. Second is code of conduct. Lack of a well-defined code of conduct to guide the behavior of both the parties. Faulty supervision. Defective supervision and absence of good supervisor who knows good techniques who are in a position to appreciate critically the efforts of their subordinates who can listen patiently to them who are capable of giving definite and specific instructions. Divide and rule policy of the management. Managers may often divide the employees into groups, get the information from different groups about others and encourage the spying activity. Henry Fayol pointed out that dividing enemy forces to weaken them is clever, but dividing one's own team is a grave sin against the business. Building a team is highly difficult when compared to dividing the team. So the divide and rule policy of the management as a result is friction and misunderstanding and creates indiscipline. Unfair management practices. Management sometimes indulge in unfair practices like wage discrimination, non-compliance with promotional policies and transfer policies, discrimination in allotment of work, defective handling of grievances, payment of low wages, delay in payment of wages, creating low quality work life. These unfair management practices gradually result in indiscipline. Next is communication barrier. Communication barriers along with absence of upward communication, absence of human and understanding approach on the part of supervisors result in frustration and leads to indiscipline. Non-uniform disciplinary action. Management has to treat all cases of indiscipline in a fair and equitable way. But management may undertake disciplinary actions in a discriminating way leading to violent protests from various quarters. Next is inadequate attention to personal problems. Workers' personal problems, their fears, apprehensions, hopes, aspirations and their lack of confidence and their inability to adjust with their superiors and their fellow members. Lack of timely redressal of employee grievances. Lack of promotional opportunities causing a feeling of stagnation. 
victimization and excessive work pressures on the work of subordinate may also lead to indiscipline uninteresting work boring work drunkenness and family problems political and trade union influence low wages and poor working conditions all these are the causes of indiscipline in an organization now let us see the three categories of misconduct based on the severity of the consequences flowing from indiscipline or misconduct they are divided into three categories first is minor infractions these refer to actions which causes either no harm or very little harm carelessness wage garnishment and negligence are some of the examples of minor infractions yet accumulation of these may become serious in due course of time second is major infractions these acts which damage morale such as cheating lying stealing refusal to carry out orders fall under the category of mis major infractions third category of misconduct is intolerable offense these refer to acts of drastic and illegal nature examples of these offenses or acts are threat to use weapons use of hard drugs on the job fighting smoking at the workplace where inflammables and combustibles are kept which causes danger to the organization reference 